Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, stator winding design for single phase induction motor. The stator winding of single phase induction motor are concentric type. They are usually three or more coils per pole, each having same or different number of turns. The arrangement of winding is largely decided by the necessity of minimizing the harmonics which may otherwise give rise to noise and uneven accelerating torques. Such harmonics are produced because of non-sinusoidal shape of the magnetomotive force wave. MMF wave harmonics can be reduced by utilizing about 70% of the total slots for the main winding and this arrangement give minimum low order harmonics. The remaining slots that is 30% are used to accommodate the starting winding. In a small single phase induction motor to reduce the harmonic still further grading of winding is done by having different number of conductors in each slot thereby giving an magnetomotive force wave nearly equal to the sine wave. Now let us see one arrangement for the stator winding. We have taken 9 slots per pole and we have taken 4 coils. Let us see how it is uh, distributed. We have total 9 slots taken per pole group. And now this is our coil. We have 4 different coils per pole group. So it is a outermost coil and uh, let us call it coil 110. Then we have coil 29. Each coil having different coil span. Then we have coil 38. And we have coil 47. So this way we have arranged our uh, stator winding. For the outermost coil, that is 110, the number of turns are half of the conductors in slot. The other half belongs to the outermost coil of the adjacent pole. So in the outermost uh, slot. So coil 110 carries only half of the turns. And these are the outermost coil of the adjacent uh, pole group. Now let us take uh, one stator winding arrangement. We have considered uh, 9 slots per pole and four different coils with different span and we have reproduced our arrangement for a ready reference. Now let us call coil 110 and it is having span of nine slots. Then we have coil 29 and it is having span of seven slots. Coil 38 we have span of five slots and the innermost coil that is coil 47 and we have a span of three slots so we can see that we have different uh, span of each coil now calculation of turns in each coil we do this arrangement for a sinusoidal distribution of magnetomotive force wave and we get uh, very close to sine wave. So calculation of number of turns. Coil 47 that is innermost coil. So we can take the equation as a sine of half of the coil span. 
so for col 47 we take sine of uh, 3 by 9 3 by 9 so here we are taking 90 degree that is half of the coil span 180 is our full coil span and we are taking 90 degree and 3 by 9 for coil span for the 47 coil number 47 so it comes to 0.5 then coil 38 sine of half of the coil span so in this case so we have a coil span of 5 by 9 and it comes to 0 0.766 coil 29 that is sine of half of the coil span and we have 7 by 9 so again it is 0 0.940 and for outermost coil as we discussed earlier that number of turns in the outermost coil that is half and other half belongs to other pole group so we are taking the one half of the sine of the co half coil span so it comes to 0 0.50 right and total it comes to 2.7 so now based on this we take a percentage of turns in each coil so percentage of turns in coil 47 it is 0.5 multiplied by 100 and divided by total it is 2.7 so it comes to 18.48 percent percentage of turns of total percentage of turns in coil 38 that is uh, 0.766 multiplied by 100 divided by 2.7 so it comes to 28.31 percentage of turns in coil 29 that is 0.94 multiplied by 100 and divided by 2.7 so it comes to 34.73 percent and at last percentage of turns in coil 110 0.5 multiplied by 100 divided by 2.7 so again it comes to 18.48 see we can see that how the percentage of turns are distributed at the outermost we have lowest percentage and uh, as it goes increasing then uh, the number of turns or percentage of number of turns goes on increasing this is just for the sake to prepare a sinusoidal distribution and this way we have 100 uh, percent percentage of turns now let us consider winding distribution factor how to calculate winding distribution factor in the arrangement we have just considered for uh, our nine uh, slots and four different coils the winding distribution factor for concentric type single layer winding is a weighted mean pitch factor and it is calculated by multiplying the pitch factor of each coil per pole group by the turns in the coil and dividing the sum of this produced by the total number of turns let us see in equation form so it will be very much clear pitch factor first we consider pitch factor pitch factor of coil 47 that is a sine and the coil span half of the coil span so coil span is a 3 by 9 and it is 90 degree so it comes to 0.5 pitch factor of coil 38 that is uh, 5 by 9 multiplied by 90 degree so it comes to 0 0.766 pitch factor for coil 2 by 9, 2 9 that is 7 by 9 multiplied by 90 degree so it comes to 0 0.940 and pitch factor of coil 110 that is uh, sin 9 by 9 and multiplied by 90 degree so it comes to 1 Suppose turns in coil 47, let us call it T47, turns in coil 38, let us call it T38, turns in coil 29, that is T29, and coil turns in coil 110, that is T110. So, winding factor KW, 
it can be indicated by this equation so 0 0.5 0 0.5 is each factor and multiplied by number of turns so 0 0.5 that is each factor multiplied by turns that is t47 same way 0 0.766 multiplied by turns t38 0.94 t29 and at last 1 multiplied by t110 so pitch factor is a weighted pitch factor so pitch factor multiplied by number of turns of that particular coil and divided by total number of turns so t47 plus 338 plus t29 plus t110 if we put uh, exact values then 0.5 multiplied by 18.48 plus 0.766 multiplied by 28.31 this is a percentage of uh, number of turns plus 0.94 multiplied by 34.73 plus 1 multiplied by 18.48 and uh, divided by 18.48 plus 28.31 plus 34.73 plus 18.48 so if we simplify then it comes to kw that is equal to 0.73 normally we take uh, 0.75 to 0.85 in case of single phase induction motor winding factor normally we take uh, 0.75 to 0.85 so this way we can have winding arrangement for single phase induction motor the purpose was very clear to minimize the harmonics and to give very close to sinusoidal distribution we are making all this arrangement so thank you very much thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much